welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys are here. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos. If you do, click that little subscribe button down below and that little bell next to it. That'll give you a notification of when I upload new videos. And welcome back to all my returning friends. I am so glad you guys are here. It is Saturday, July 31st, last Saturday of the month, last day of the month. <laughs> Um, this is my Floss Tube Edition, episode number eight here on my channel. My channel is Jody's Creative Corner. I am Jody. My channel is a mixture of everything that I love. Um, so you will have cooking videos, which I do a Tasty Tuesday video. Uh, Fridays are kind of a car chit chat when I'm out and about sharing anything that I pick up at different stores or just chit chatting in general on Fridays and then Saturdays every other Saturday I do a floss tube video which is all about my cross stitch um, I sprinkle in crochet so that can be sometimes maybe on my Friday videos sometimes on here I don't have any crochet for today I have to finish up my last um this past Tuesday's episode episode last Tuesday's segment of the temperature for my temperature afghan so that I haven't got to that one yet so that's not I won't share that one just just yet maybe in a couple of weeks I'll share again on that or I'll put just post it in um my Friday video next week so if you want to see that maybe you have to hop in on that Friday video but anyways we're here about cross stitch let's get started so I'm going to start with a fully finished object. Um, this is Butterfly Garden by Shannon Christine Designs. The frame I picked up at uh, Family Dollar. I carry a tape measure in with me. So when I'm out and about, when I know I'm looking for items to fully finish items, I can pull it out to do it. And I did that and measured it. And within here, it was going to be the perfect size for this frame or for this project so perfect and the frame which is five dollars absolutely love it i don't remember what the saying was but it was a like a tinny type um thing in there just covered it up with the fabric absolutely love this i love the stitch it's going to go somewhere here in the craft room uh, i'm not going to do it on that wall because one there's no room on that wall and those are my white frames on each side of the middle there so i'll probably put it on the wall over here kind of rearrange how i have in my craft room but absolutely love that love that and then the next one is a previous finish from the early 2000s so this is our wedding sampler wedding stitch not really a sampler um there it says, may your wedding day be filled with special memories and laughter as we look forward to all the years of happily ever after. John and Jody, 316.96. So there. And I didn't ever think I stitched or I did beading and there's beading beads on here. So I did do beading way back in the day, but love it. And there's some chronic in the, the birds. So there's going to be a glare wing there, but absolutely love that i've reframed this recently um i switched up all of our pictures down below down below down in our living room um to all black black frames because i have a lot of black and white pictures in our in our living room so just put that there and so yeah so early 2000s that i stitched that and I don't know the name of the pattern. This is on 14 count by the looks of it. And if I was to guess, probably something I got from Stony Creek, I think. But previous finish. Love it. Now I have to get a new hook to put on the back here. We um, purchased a mattress over the weekend, last weekend. And bringing it upstairs, I didn't pull my frame down and I should have. And I knocked it, we knocked it off and it ripped the... The, the hook off so I got to get that to get that replaced and get that back up on the wall but that was just a previous finish now we're going to jump into my whips now I do a three-day rotation on, on each of the projects that I have going and I've got one two three four five six whips that is plenty for me even though I'm adding a couple more in but one is almost done so that'll be good that I'm adding in in one <clears throat> but anyways let's get into the whip so for my first three-day rotation i have in this pretty little project bag um and the name escapes me of who i who i purchased it from on there but this is right spirit by la di da 
and the picture does not do it justice. It is so pretty. I am stitching it on 18 count country mocha. I have a, <clears throat> that far. I will have right here where I was before. And this is where I am at now on that. Now I removed the alphabet because I'm not one, I don't stitch samplers and I don't like the alphabet on there. That's just a personal preference. So I took that out, took out two leaves from each side to drop this down or move this up, however you want to look at it. Took the alphabet out and then I added a sun. This is what I saw on um, when I was at StitchCon, when I went to Keepsakes. They still had the alphabet on there, but they added a sun and I took a picture of it so I could see how they did it on there. But this is where I'm at. I'm using all DMC floss and it's stitching up rather quickly. I mean, this is the bottom of it. So I just got to put the rest of the words in and then do the border on that side and then down here and then that won't be done. So probably maybe in the next rotation, um, this might be a finish. But I am loving that. So that is that one. The next in the rotation is by Silver Creek Samplers, and I'm just gonna call her Olivia because I don't know how to say her last, how to say the last name. I am absolutely loving everything about this, everything about this. And I'm finding that fall is my favorite season to stitch, or my favorite thing to stitch is fall. Fall is my favorite season. Anyways, absolutely love it. And she is on. 16 count French lace, Ada. I will have here where I was before. I keep forgetting to do that. But anyways, this is where I'm at now and I love her, love her. So fun, I'm just loving stitching her dress with the leaves I did have in this one over here was all right counting wise was putting things in here adding in some of the little little dots around and i'm like why is it not matching up everything here is matching up count wise this is and i counted this leaf this leaf was good i'm like what did i do wrong and i'm like nothing here i left out one row in this but all of this was right and then when i went to do I had this leaf all stitched in because I counted, or counted off of this. So I only had to frog that. Whew. But anyway, so I fixed that, got the row in there, got it. Everything's going perfect. I have just a little bit of the dress down here and then it goes across here and then just the words. So it's, it is stitching up nice and it's, I love it. Love, love, love everything about it. And of course I have my StitchCon needle minder because I started this at StitchCon, but I love this. And on here, the only thing that I changed is the hair and I'm using Current by, is it in here? No, it's old road paint. Um, Current by, it's either, is it gentle art or is it weeks? It's gentle, it's gentle art. So, and cause it matched my hair, matches my hair coloring, but absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. How many times can I say that I love it? We're gonna put her away. I might change up my rotation in August, but I'll get to that when I get to my plans cause I'm, adding in a couple more. One's gonna be for a Christmas gift. So the next up is Memorial Day by um, Hands on Design. And I will have a picture here of where I was before I started the rotation. And this is where I am at now, and I've got some extra thread of where I'm at now. Well, you're not going to see because up top I have God, 
God Shed His, and is where I got on there. Finished the flag there, because I think I had a little bit in there, so I finished all of that and started on that one. And this one is fun to stitch. And I think I am going to omit thinking not putting the little stitches on the flags just because I like it with the just red. So that is where that one is at. Love this one as well. I think I love all my stitches. So I'm going to say that I love this one. I love that one. I love this one, but I really love fall, really love fall. And then Lincoln's Eagle. This one is fun to stitch as well. Um, this one I'm on 20 counts and that's the smallest that I've ever stitched. And I'm so far not having to pull out my uh, readers on it. If it, if my eyes start to get a little bit tired, then I will because it'll just help me focus a little bit better. But I am, I am doing it without um, out my readers because it's such a tiny stitch but anyways it's Lincoln's Eagle and then I will have a picture here of where I was before I started this rotation <music> Is where I'm at now and I love it the only thing I'm not liking is stitching the border because it's just kind of boring <laughs> stitching one color just a out thing this is kind of fun because I'm you know you're putting other things and things are popping out so I'll get back to it but I stitched enough on the border down so I could get to the flowers I could put that in there but I filled in the wing of the eagle and I switched out the color the color that was called for um, was 613 DMC. So it was a drab brown, very light. And it wasn't showing up as white or even an off-white. And I didn't like that. So I just switched it out and I'm using white wash by Weeks. And then the flowers coming in and I'm just using one strand of floss over that and it's just coming from now I can see the definition when I was stitching it I wasn't seeing the different color because it's outlined in one color and um, I'm not sure which ones those ones are and then it, but anyways so it's coming in really pretty and I love love this one too and the uh, fabric is 20 count Ada country mocha so pretty. Oops. Putting everything back in my bags and took it down into my other bag, my bag of bags. And then the last one, I finally printed off the cover photo for One Nation Under God. And again, on this one, I am omitting the alphabet and then just moving up the border. And I will have a picture of where I, well, not of where I was. I took it out of the Q-Snap to move, so I have it in its entirety. But so I'm going to post that here. And then, so now you're not really going to see kind of where I'm at, but what I'm at right now. So I just moved the Q-Snap um, here. So all of here we can go like this so in here i finished up on this side i had just this much to do of the vase and a little bit of the leaves and the flag so i finished all of that so then i moved the q snap so now i'm down here so i worked on starting on her so that's where i'm at here so i'm starting on her dress you can see the flag that was stitched earlier, but so just kind of started in there just a little bit on that because this started my rotation yesterday, I believe. 
and I didn't say my dates of my ones that I was doing them on, but this one, yeah, I just started, just started a couple days ago. This one I started on the 28th and it's keeping a little bit longer rotation just because the 28th, 29th and 30th would have been yesterday and today would have been a new one, but I'm just going to still stitch on this, um, because it's leading me into August, which my plans. So for August, I'm doing the 25 seven. So I'm going to stitch on this 25 minutes every day and I'm going to do it first thing in the morning. I usually have time from when my husband leaves to go to work until I start working. I work three days a week. Um, so I have a good hour to get my breakfast, get myself semi ready because I just get up, throw my hair in a ponytail and I'm ready for work. But I have time to get my breakfast, get things kind of cleaned up, picked up, whatever. And I have, have a good 25, 35 minutes where I usually kind of stitch a little bit in the morning, watch a couple of videos, what have you. So this is going to be my focus piece because I want to finish this before October 11th. That's when I started it um, last year and I kind of want to get it done by October 11th. So this is my focus piece for the month of August, 25-7. I may put it into a three day rotation of through all my stuff and work on it all day long. Um, we'll see, or maybe I'll just put it on to the weekends or something. I don't know, but I want to get this done. So that is my focus piece to finish this one. Put that there. Put that there. So we talked all that. So we'll just kind of go into plans. So for August, of course, that is that one. Then I will be pulling out Jesus, the Jesus picture one. Um, that'll get touched for three days. And then the right spirit will, the fall lady, Memorial Day and Lincoln's Day. So I'll just kind of keep going down. I am adding in, which I will show when I go into my haul, a new one that's going to be for a Christmas one, a Christmas gift for my husband that'll work in there. So I think we'll just start right into haul because that's kind of just my plans of just working on my three day ro rotation. Now we'll move into haul. I tried not to purchase things for the whole month of July, which I kind of pretty, pretty much did up until this last week-ish or so. One being was somewhat of a semi-purchase when I was still at StitchCon, they had to put an order in for a pattern that they didn't have and um, got a call from Stephanie and of course it was a little fangirl moment again um, even after I met her it's like ah Stephanie called I have a message from her on my phone so I saved the message the voicemail but anyway she called to let me know that it was in and all that good stuff so I asked her if she would just kit up the the whole thing with fabric and floss outside of DMC I have DMC on that um, so she did. So my order came for that. So what I wanted while I was still there was the Fall for Autumn by Erica Michaels. So pretty. And this calls, oh, what did she give me? Did she give me the right one? Look on a cream. Um, no, because that was a fabric was gauze. So I just asked her to pick me up some even weave fabric. So she did a 32 count Lugana cream. So I have that. And then all of the flosses, which were tied up in a cute little fallish ribbon. So pretty, but those colors are just pretty and it's, Piney Woods, Gentle Arts, Piney Woods, Gentle Arts, Ginger Snap, looks like they're all, oh, nope, they're classic colors, uh, Gentle Art, Gold Leaf, and Dive, Autumn Leaves, Fragrant Clothes, and then Classic Color Works, Caterpillar, sh and then Two Shabby Chics, because it's going to call for that, but those are the colors, and they are, oh, pull the ribbon out of the way, pretty fall colors. Absolutely love it. And I didn't want to untie the bundle because I'm not going to start it just yet. Um, even though I'm adding in one pattern of a new start that I'll show you in just a second, 
I want to wait till I finish something before I put something else into my rotation wise. And then once I finish that right start, I am going to start on, start on the fall for autumn. So as soon as that one, so I'll just put that in there. But that was from Keepsakes. Um, this is the one that I'm starting already because I want to get it done for Christmas. Fingers crossed. If not, I'll have to wait till his birthday for July. But this is Artisy. It was from uh, Etsy. Sh no, not an Etsy. Was it an Etsy shop? No, this was from Loved Love Crafts. And there's two more down here. But anyways, it's a guitar landscape sunset. So cool. So it's trees that's for the body of the guitar, and then you got the sun in there. And then all of this is houses, houses, buildings, whatever, but it is so pretty. My husband is a guitar player, so that is gonna be for him for Christmas. And I am doing it on 16 count white Ada on there. So I just started, gonna be starting that a little bit later today. The other two items from there, there's one more. I got the Golden Girls and I didn't print that out, but I will insert a picture here. That'll be a fun one that I'm going to start one of these days. Um, this one is by Heinzit. I don't know if that's right, but anyways, it's the Michigan one. So I'll start that one of these days as well, but I just thought that was kind of cool. It's the, what do they call it? The flag state, so Michigan. So that she must have a thing. Yeah, she has it all with the different um, states. Texas, Michigan. No, Texas, Florida, Michigan. So yeah, charmed flag states. Anyways, but I'll be doing that one one of these days. And then this one is from My Big Toe from that place, the same thing that I got it from was lovedcrafts.com. I feel like I'm talking fast, I'm sorry. Uh, this one is, be still and know that I am God. This is my absolute favorite verse in the Bible. So that one's gonna be fun to stitch one of these days. So pick that up. And one more Etsy purchase. This is from The Little Stitcher. Anne of Green Gables. Cannot wait to stitch this. So pretty. So that was a PDF file, so I just printed off just the, the cover sheet. And then just a few purchases from Joann's and then Hobby Lobby. There was something else. I don't know where it is, but anyways, I picked up the Just Cross Stitch, Just Cross Stitch magazine. Still on the fence of if I'm going to subscribe. I don't, I only get the magazine every now and then if something jumps out at me that I want to stitch. So I probably won't get a subscription. But I got it to stitch. Cover up the pattern. The Have a Holly Jolly Christmas ornament for an ornament exchange that I will be in. So I picked that magazine up and then while I was there, these buttons and these are the dress it up buttons and this is a stitch in time. It's got spools and spools of thread, a sewing machine, a thimble, needle, scissors. So it's got button spools and then an actual spool of thread. So. That'll be fun to adhere to some projects or put in around some projects. I do have a couple of Sue Hillis designs with some spools in them that these might go in, go in handy with that. We'll see. And then this one, same company, Dress It Up, and it's the sewing room. It's got the dress form, more spools of thread, the tape measure, scissors, thimbles, a needle, just all fun buttons. So those will be fun to add. And then I picked up a corner guide from 
This is from Hobby Lobby. So it's just got some fun bees on it and some flowers and some honeycombs. And that's going to come in handy for me when I'm working on the Lugana. So I can just kind of pull my corner start because I'm a top left corner starter. And then this last one is haul slash a little bit of fun mail because she added in a couple of extras. So this is from Wendy in Neverland and I will have it linked down below to her channel because she does have a floss too. She makes bags and I said, oh, purple. And so she was looking some, for some purple fabric and she made this bag for me that I purchased from her. But it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So just those pretty little designs in there. The back is just some black and purple. Kind of just a brush stroke type so pretty and then the little zipper pull just a fun little purple tag and then she's got her logo on it bags by wendy so pretty so pretty and then the extra the extra fun happy mail she made a grime guard matching the fabric and i think that's why she asked me what what size um q snap do i like to use the most and i told her usually 11 by 8 so she made me a grime guard which will come in handy because that'll go on the guitar stitch one because that's in white and i want to make sure i don't get stuff in there and then i knew the bag was coming and then i had two packages and i'm like what is other one that she sent me she sent me a little piece of Oregon 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 however you say it I say Oregon so sand from Oregon and then I don't want to tip it I will insert a picture of them anyways but some seashells little itty bitty starfish and then I can take pull these ones out or one out maybe because I put them back in there. She had them all wrapped separately because she said they were sinking down in. Um, just some purple shells. So pretty. And I told her that this will look so nice once I ever get my office back. Um, once my youngest moves back out, I have an office, office theme, a beach themed office. So this will go in on, I have a shelf, has all my shelves that I'm getting from Florida in there, but I'm going to, there, I can kind of tip it that way a little bit. So you can see, I just kind of put them in there, but that'll go in there. But for now, it's going to sit here, you know, my, my desk in my craft room until I can get my office back. But so just some fun, happy mail. Love it. So pretty. And then just a nice little note from her. And there so thank you wendy love the bag love the sand and the seashells and a little bit of organ all right so that is my haul the last i want to do is just a couple shout outs um kind of four so these are just a few of channels that i kind of watch um, I've watched all of them. Some, they're all under 1,000, so they would be in the under 1,000 club. I think they're all under 1,000. I believe they are. If I'm wrong, well. So one of them being Shelly Prover Proverbs 3122. Um, she is another purple lover, and she quilts as well as stitches. And I just love looking at the quilts behind her in her floss tube videos, but she's fun to watch. Um... CJ's craft room. She has just started floss tubes, so she only got a few out. She lives in a um, mobile home camper with her husband, which I think is kind of cool that they that's where they live and they so they do that. But that's kind of just kind of fun, fun little quirks. But she has some fun stitches in there, and then um, Rachel Q stitches. She is another fun channel I like to watch. I love looking at some of her stuff. She stitches the Sunday series by... 
she's on the west coast I can't think of it but she stitches those those are really pretty to watch or pretty to watch pretty stitches to do and then the last one is my friend candy that i met in ohio at stitchcon the 614 stitcher i love her she is fun i've got sand on me I must have spilled some out a little bit i love watching her stuff um she stitches up some cute little christmas ones she just shared a wreath one that i'm gonna have to go get because i want to stitch that up for christmas but those are my shout outs for today on my video and i've got sand everywhere anyway, i'm sidetracked but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed my video um, i will have a link down below in the description box for everything that i showed today and everything I got. So until I see you in about two weeks, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and yeah, remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye guys.